Hello everyone, this is your sharing doctor, Dr. Daisy Tay. To my new subscribers and my new viewers, thank you so much for joining me. And to my old subscribers and my old viewers, may God bless you. What I'll be discussing with you today is about vitamin D deficiency. What is the rationale behind this? You see, vitamin D is a very important, another very important vitamin. It is called the sunshine vitamin because our skin can only make vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. And that's the reason why it is very important for us to expose ourselves to the sun especially in the morning and late in the afternoon when it's not so hot anymore. You see, we live in a tropical country in the Philippines where sunshine is really intense. Now, vitamin D is very important because of its antiviral and antibacterial works. Today, we have the pandemic and Many researchers have found out that vitamin D can keep this COVID virus. Vitamin D has the capability to fight this COVID-19 virus. The Singapore study was using vitamin D along with vitamin B12 in fighting coronavirus or COVID-19 virus and they were successful in treating as well as in preventing people from getting COVID virus. And those who were showing symptoms of COVID-19, they were helped by giving them vitamin D and vitamin B12. Now, this is very important because many experts in many countries, in the UK, in the US, even in Germany, they were suggesting that vitamin D be provided to people, especially during this pandemic time. They were saying that vitamin D is less expensive and so making people have sufficient amount of vitamin D can help a lot. Well with the philippines and with the other southeast asian countries where the sun shines so intense then you can expose yourself to the sun to make sure you have sufficient amount of vitamin d other functions of vitamin d in the body is number one vitamin d regulates the expression of many hundreds of genes and they influence biological functions that affect every health systems in the body. The other function of vitamin D is that it helps reduce inflammation which is necessary for the modulation of cell growth and immune functions. The other function of vitamin D is it affects the genes that help regulate apoptosis or program cell death and cell differentiation. It also maintains adequate levels of calcium and phosphate that are essential for bone mineralization. Cold and flu are also affected by vitamin D deficiency. Many experts believe that lack of vitamin D can trigger colds and flu. Other respiratory diseases have been found to be influenced by vitamin D. For example, tuberculosis was found that the treatment is vitamin D. When they were given vitamin D supplementation or when they were exposed, the patients having tuberculosis 
were exposed to sunlight, their tuberculosis were treated. Now let's go to the signs and the symptoms of the lack of vitamin D, which is, as I've said, very important because of the functions mentioned of vitamin D. Number one sign or symptom is aching muscles. Many elderly people complain of aching muscles and this was found to be due to the insufficiency of vitamin D. Another is painful bones. Vitamin D has a regulatory function of the level of calcium in the blood. Now, calcium and phosphate are very important in, in making your bones strong. Lack of calcium can make your bones soft and you can be sick of what is called osteomalacia, which is a precursor of osteoporosis. The other sign is fatigue. Many people, whether young or old, have this health condition of fatigue. They also have sleep deprivation. And researchers have found that supplementing with vitamin D or patients suffering from fatigue can improve their symptoms by exposing themselves to the sun. Well, in the United States and in other temperate countries, this condition is very much felt, especially during winter times because they don't have sunlight. And so they supplement with vitamin D to correct the situation. Another sign of vitamin D deficiency is poor sleep. It was found out through research that people with vitamin D deficiency always have sleep disorders. And that's the reason why it is very important to expose yourself to sunlight every day for at least 30 minutes mm -hmm. to one hour if you want to have sufficient amount of vitamin D. The other sign of vitamin D deficiency is sweaty head. When you start sweating in your head and your other bodily parts are not sweaty but you have profuse sweaty in your head, that could be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. Another sign is hair loss. You see, vitamin D has a, an influence in the proliferation of keratinocytes. And because of that, when we lack vitamin D, we lack keratinocytes. And that could be a start of hair fall or hair loss. Another sign is a lack of vitamin D can impact brain health. Deficiency of vitamin D is said to aggravate or trigger dementia, memory fogs, memory loss. It was found out that the lack of vitamin D has caused the proliferation of soluble and insoluble beta amyloid plaque, which is a factor of Alzheimer's disease. Another sign of vitamin D deficiency is a slow healing wounds. When you lack vitamin D, there is a great chance that when you develop wounds, there could be slow healing. And it is established that chronic wounds are major public health challenge. The other sign of vitamin D deficiency is heart problems. You see, when you lack vitamin D or when you are deficient of vitamin D, your nitric oxide is compromised. Vitamin D is necessary 
in the balancing of nitric oxide concentrations, which improve endothelial function. Nitric oxide is very necessary because it dilates arteries and veins and therefore a sufficient amount of nitric oxide in the blood can lower high blood pressure. The other sign, and I think the last sign, this is the last sign of vitamin D deficiency is recurring infections. Earlier we have discussed the antiviral and antibacterial uh, functions of vitamin D. So when we lack vitamin D, this could lead to recurring infections, colds, flu, other respiratory infections can come and go. Multiple studies have demonstrated that vitamin D deficiency increases the potential risk of severe diseases, mortality rates, especially in those who are chronically and critically ill. And this is the reason why it is very important for us to know what are the signs and the symptoms of vitamin D deficiency so that we can correct. I would also want to encourage you to go out in the sun, go out to the park, go out of your homes and try to expose yourself to sensible sunlight. If you cannot get sunlight in your area, then you have to take vitamin D3 supplementation. But one particular warning that I would like to give you is vitamin D3 when taken as dietary supplements stays in the body for long, long time. And so you have to be sure that when you take vitamin D3, you have to know your level of vitamin D and take vitamin D in the appropriate amount necessary. I hope this has helped you. This has equipped you with an information that could benefit you and your family and your friends. May God bless you.